Excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry, mate. Is this your seat? The stewardess said it was empty. No, no I'm at the window. All oh, right. So, mate, do you mind if I stay here? It's just the fellow next to me has been snoring ever since we took off from Sydney. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Thanks, brother. Something wrong? No, no, you just... <sighs> Do I know you from somewhere? <laughs> no, I'm not sure. Desmond. Jack. Nice to meet you, Jack. Or to see you again. <laughs> You're wasting your time, man. This plane goes down the ocean way out here. I think our chances of survival are exactly zero. Actually, in calm seas, with a good pilot, we could survive a water landing. And, uh... The fuel tanks are buoyant enough to keep us afloat until we got into life rafts. What? No, it's just impressive you know that. So what are you doing in Australia? Business or pleasure? Pleasure. You? I went down to get my sister out of a bad relationship that turned out she didn't want to get out of, so here I am. So are you just down under for Vacation? Actually, I went on a walkabout. Really? Like, like Crocodile Dundee? <laughs> no, not exactly. But, but uh, it was pretty intense. We, we spent ten days in the outback and uh, nothing but our packs and our knives. We slept under the stars and made our own fires, hunted our own food. Wow. I wouldn't make it two days without my cell phone. <laughs> You're not pulling my leg, are you? Why would I pull your leg? <laughs> this thing goes down, I'm sticking with you. Mmm. Lasagna. No, no knife and fork for you, honey. What do you think I'm gonna do? Stab you and run? Hey, watch where you're going, buddy. Sorry, my bad. Hey, Ed, come on, please, just once. I really don't want to do this. I love those commercials. Come on, just do the Australian accent, and I'll leave you alone. Okay, hey, fine. All right. Oi, have a cluggy clug die, mate. <laughs> That's a cr do you, you know who this is? This, this is the owner of Mr. Cluck's chicken. And he's, and he's back here riding coach with the rest of us yutzes, huh? <laughs> how about that? Hey, um, do you mind me asking, how exactly did a guy like you get to own a major corporation? I won the lottery, and I like chicken, so I bought it. Oh, good. Good for you. You know, you really shouldn't tell people you won the lottery. Yeah, why not? Because they'll take advantage of you, that's why not. Thanks for the advice, too, but it's not gonna happen. It's not, huh? Nope. Nothing bad ever happens to me. I'm the luckiest guy alive. one of my bags what about you you wouldn't believe me if i told you <laughs> try me and they lost my father i'm sorry he died in australia a couple of days ago and um 
I flew down to get him. My condolences. Who? Coffin was supposed to go on the plane in Sydney, but it didn't. Apparently, he's somewhere in transit, which is their way of saying they have no idea where the hell he is. Well, how could they know? They're the ones that checked him in. I mean, they've got to have some kind of tracking system. No, I'm not talking about the coffin. I mean, how could they know where he is? They didn't lose your father. They just lost his body. Either way, your story beats the hell out of mine. All that was in my suitcase was a bunch of knives. Thanks. Some kind of salesman? Yeah, something like that. Well, it was nice talking to you. Uh, hope you find that coffin. <sighs> hope you find your knives. Yeah, thanks. Do you mind if I ask what happened to you? I'm sorry. I'm only asking because I'm a spinal surgeon. I, I didn't mean to. Oh, no, don't worry about it. Uh, uh, surgery isn't going to do anything to help me. Uh, my condition is irreversible. Nothing's irreversible. Um, if you ever want a consult, just uh, give me a call. It's on the house. Well, thanks. Jack Shepard. I'm John. John Locke. It's nice to meet you, John. Nice to meet you, too. Thanks. You're welcome. 